Hello citizens of the internet, and welcome to the Dad's Guide to Minecraft building tutorial. My name is Anthony, and today we have this really cool small forge house that can be easily constructed early game with materials that are readily available. This not only makes a great starter house, but for an upgraded village, this can be the house for an armorer, a toolsmith, and a weaponsmith. So if that sounds like a plan, then let's get started. Okay, for this build, we need a 15 by 10 space. And we're gonna start off with our spruce logs and we're gonna just put one down. This will be like the front corner of the, the house structure. So we're gonna come over a uh, total of seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then put one on the eighth like that. And then back here, we're gonna go skip six. One, two, three, four, five, six, put one on the seventh. And then we're gonna match this side over here. So a, se a seven space right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and put one on the eighth. So you should have a nice square like this. Now, before we bring up the walls, let's go ahead and put the full floor in for this structure because it is probably the more complicated flooring we've done so far, especially for an easy build. So let's go ahead and switch to our cobblestone blocks. And on the inside here, we're just gonna make an outline like this around the uh, interior of the logs. So it should be a total of seven on this side, six on this side, and then seven here like this. And then across the top like this, where we're not going to actually close this off just yet. So we'll leave this open, but we will put one right here and then one right here. Now let's go ahead and make the porch area too. So we're gonna come four off of the one we just placed down here. So one, two, three, four. And then we're gonna come over four. One, two, three, four. And so we should be one shy of this one over here like this. We're gonna come back four. So one, two, three, four. We're gonna skip this one right here, place one here, and then fill in the rest. Now let's switch to our spruce planks. And we're gonna come back here. And starting on this corner, we're just gonna fill in the rest, except for one space. And it's this one right here. We're gonna leave this one open. So you should have a structure that looks like this from the top. Now let's switch to our stone bricks and we're going to come up here in this corner right here and we're gonna put one down and we're gonna outline the porch. And putting the supports in for the fireplace, we're gonna put two like this, two like this, and then one right against this log like that. Now this next step is optional if you want, but you can clear these three blocks out and put um, stone bricks down here or cobblestone. And then we're gonna put our cobblestone stair facing this direction and our stone brick stair facing this direction and our blast furnace in the middle. And then finally for this ground level, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna put a spruce stair facing this direction. I know that seems odd, but this is gonna be an infinite water supply for a brewing stand. Now let's go ahead and bring the walls up a total of six. So starting on this corner, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're gonna connect across the top like that. Now switching back to cobblestone blocks, we're gonna come back here and build the walls up as well. So starting in each corner, go up a total of five, like that, and do that over here as well. And then on this back wall, we're going to come over just one on either side because this is going to be a window now we're not doing fancy stairs down here like um, we do sometimes. We're just gonna make it just blocks like this. So it should be a two wide opening window here. And then we're gonna come over like this. And this side will be, uh, we'll come in three on each side like that. And then one across the top like that. So we have a two high window here. And then a two high window will be on this side as well. So coming over two and then two on this side. So we have a one block gap, come up one, 
close the top. So we have a too high window here. Now let's go ahead and put the ceiling on. So we'll take our uh, spruce planks, come across the top and just of the all the bricks like this. And leave this corner open. We're gonna have a uh, ladder with a trap door on top. We'll close in the rest of this area here like this. Now coming back down to the front porch, we'll go ahead and put our stone brick stairs down like this. And we're gonna put walls, um, our stone brick walls, starting in this corner. And we're just gonna outline the entire front porch like this. So we come up to the corner right here. Now the front of this build is where it gets a little tricky, where we um, have our entryway. So we're gonna come over with our stone brick stairs put two down like this, and then we'll come around to the back here and we'll put two down like that. And then we're gonna put upside down stairs on top across like here. And then we'll do a stair in the middle and then we're gonna have one facing this direction and one facing this direction. So we have like a little opening like this. And then we're gonna do the exact same look here. So one like that and then one in the corner like like this there we go so you should have like a little mantle piece that looks like this like a little indentation then right above the door we're going to go ahead and put our cobblestone coming down too and this will be our opening for our front door right here now the front of this fireplace can be a little bit tricky so we're going to come up here we're going to put one down on this side and we're going to have a fireplace on top of here so we want the smoke to rise up so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come around this side, put a stair facing this way, one right next to it, and then we're gonna build it around like this so it makes a nice rounded shape. Then we're gonna do the same thing except upside down. So we're gonna do one up like this, one up like that, and just move around the front like this. So we should have a shape that looks like this right here. Okay, let's go ahead and complete the chimney. So let's come over to the top like this and we'll go ahead and get rid of these three blocks right here and then also these three blocks right here. So we should have an opening like this. Now we're gonna put stone bricks coming up on these sides like here. We're gonna keep coming up a total of five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then when we come in here, this is going to be where we have our fireplace on the second floor. So we'll put stone bricks down like that, switch to our stone brick stairs, put them like here, upside down like that. And then let's come up and we're gonna do two more on top like this. And then we'll just come over and finish the top as well. So we're gonna do uh, regular stairs around once like that and then stairs around again like so. Okay, now that we have our bottom done, let's go ahead and build our second floor. So starting right here, one off from the spruce log that's like that, we're gonna come over a total of three, and then on this side, three as well, with a one gap space in the middle. And here we're gonna put down our stair like that, our quartz stair. Then with our smooth quartz blocks, we're gonna come back over here and we're gonna make a pyramid kind of step up like that. And then right here in the middle, we're gonna do an upside down smooth quartz stair like that. So we have our little indented opening. And then finally, we're gonna put a block up like this. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now if we come over to here, let's go ahead and put one quartz block right here on this side of the fireplace, like that. And we'll do two on this side. And then we'll come over to this side and put our dormers down. So starting on this corner, we're gonna come over two. And on this side, come over two. So it should be a two wide gap here. And then we'll put one going out on top of our spruce logs. And then we're gonna come up one on both sides like this, add a temporary block here, and come over two in the front, knock that out and then come around the front like this, and we'll put our smooth quartz stairs like this. 
Now let's go ahead and switch to our dark oak stairs and we're going to put our roof line on. Coming over by one. And then we'll repeat the same thing on this side. Then don't forget to put in upside down stairs under the bottoms like this. And then finally, one in the middle upside down like that. And one normal stair facing this direction. We'll do the same on this side. Now let's come back to the dormer and finish the roof line here. We're gonna start on this level and have stairs come out, one on either side like that. And then we're gonna step it up on the front. Have them match here. And we'll go ahead and break these two stairs like that so the, the uh, roof line matches correctly. Another upside down here. another one here and then we'll finish off the roof like this and in order to get these to join properly you may have to break them and just put them back on again like that okay let's not forget to put our stair like that and we'll go ahead and switch to our slabs and come across the top like so. Now let's come around and work on the porch roof. Starting on these corners right here where the walls are, we're going to use our dark oak fences, come up two on both sides like that. Switch back to our slabs, put a slab on top of each one. And then we're gonna go ahead and connect this over all the way. like that and we'll do the same on this side now coming over this side we'll go down one further come off here and then we'll come up here and off this stair this stair right here come across and we'll come down here and do the same thing underneath like that And then finally, these two will be like this. Since we're here, let's go ahead and build a slack tub. This is where a blacksmith will quench the metal after it's heated up and they've hammered it. So we're gonna take out those two walls, uh, put a um, spruce trap door that direction, one this direction like that. And then coming down here, you put one on the top, and these are temporary, crouch, put one on top like that, and then we'll destroy the ones on the bottom and then that flips up nicely. And we'll do the same thing on this side as well, just pop two down. So you should have a nice spruce tub that looks like this. Now let's go ahead and put our door on and our windows in. So we'll put our door facing this direction and we'll put our ladders going up, a spruce trap door at the top like that. And we'll also put a spruce trap door right here like this. Now our windows, I'm using white stained glass. You can use whatever color you like. I think this looks nice though. We'll put them up here. Then we'll go upstairs and put them in the windows up here. Okay, now let's go ahead and do some exterior decorations. First thing we're gonna do is come over to this front wall here. Skip one, put a stone brick down skip one put a stone brick down so we should have a three gap here we'll fill this in with coarse dirt then switching to our trap doors 
We'll put trap doors down, flip them up. And then I also like to have shutters on these windows because the uh, cobblestone can be overwhelming from a design standpoint. So we'll put shutters on both sides like this. Now coming across here, we're gonna put up three of the dark oak fences on either side. And then above this, we're gonna put our dark oak slabs across the top like this. So five across each side. Now we'll switch back to our dark oak fence, put it right here in the log above the center, and then we'll put our lantern hanging down. Now let's go ahead and put our tulips down as well, like that. And we'll do the same thing on the other side of the house. And then finally, let's come over to the back of the house and we'll put our coarse dirt down underneath the windows. Since this is a six gap wide, we're just going to put um, a flower bed down. And then we'll also put shutters on the windows right here like this. And lanterns on the corners like that. Finally, flowers in the flower bed. Okay, now let's take a look at how I decorated it. So coming up to the front porch, this is where all the action takes place. We got our blast furnace, our fireplace, anvil, grindstone, an armor stand to show off what we've created, our slack tub where we can quench the metal from the fire after we are done hammering it on the anvil. On the inside, we have our smoker, regular furnace, crafting table, and then a bunch of barrels across the top like this for storage. We got a barrel down here with a brewing stand on top. And then this is our infinite water supply, which is nothing more than a water log stair. Then coming up to the second floor, we have our bedroom with uh, two beds and plenty of extra storage up here. And that brings us to the end of the tutorial. If you like what you've seen and would like to see more, click that subscribe button, press the notification bell, and I really love getting comments from people about other builds they'd like to see in the future. So until next time, bye for now.